Hi guys, hello and thanks for joining me on the BI WizKid YouTube channel. So today we are looking at a real world issue. Okay, so in front of me I've got my data set which is based on invoicing. Now we generally have an issue with visualizing different date values within one graph or using one date filter with a number of different values. So here today we're going to look at look at that issue right now. So we've got our date created for our invoice. We've got our invoice amount. And we've got the date that invoice was paid, and then we can see that not many of them get paid within the same month. Now, if we try and visually represent this using the date filter, so just to background, I've got a date table over here which uh, is a separate date table using that's connected to the date created the invoice created date which is this particular column here and when I do visualize it we can see that we've got 1.7 million um, invoiced out on within that uh, within January 2016 now I've got two measures created here I've got the invoice amount and the invoice paid and both of them are showing the same thing because it's using this created date here now I wanted to use this date here so I wanted to say that okay even though it's showing me January 2016 and it's connected to the the created date I want to actually see how much was actually physically paid within that particular month so how do we do that so we'll go through the steps here a couple of things that we need to do first of all we need to go to our relationships in our relationships we need to create a new connection so at the moment, if we look at this one, we've got a created on date to the date ID, and I'm going to connect this one to the date ID for invoice paid. Now what this will do is create an inactive relationship between the two tables, as you can see here, represented by this dotted line. And if we click into this and have a look, we can see that it is inactive. And if we do try to make it active, it gives us an error saying blah, 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 we've already got one connection fine don't worry we know that but we can reference that so if you go back to our report now and as I mentioned before I've got two measures created here so if I go into my data set find those measures invoice amount paid they're both using the same amount here so they're both using the invoice amount so invoice amount is based on the actual value actual value etc it's just the invoice amount so let's go wrap a calculate value around here so this is all we need to do calculate and then we're going to say use a relationship i want you to use the invoice id that i set up just a couple of seconds ago and i've clicked it to the date id for the date table and that's the relationships that has been created and then just keep an eye on this invoice graph down here and when the little dots start spinning and start thinking about mm -mm, what's this doing what's this uh, uh, calculation telling me to do I know what it's telling me to do it's telling me to split these out uh, and show all the data all on one graph so there you go so we now see that invoice amount was 1.7 million whereas the invoice amount paid was actually 684k and we can represent that all the way throughout the year as you can see on the graph so now using this filter here we can actually filter down using one date filter visualize the amount paid and the amount invoiced throughout the year and if we move on to some additional analysis we can say okay well we have got our days to pay value on there already so we know how many days from the invoice created to the invoice paid and so we can use that to visualize who actually takes the most time to to, to pay their invoices we could name and shame customers we can use it for chasing we can use it to analyze and and maybe budget to see who, who we expect to pay within that month so we can see that uh, represented here 
we can see that most of our money comes in you know within within the same day but we get 1.2 million 0.6 million after 72 days we get you know a half a million after 58 days after two months um, and so we can really sort of look in here and look and, and name and shame some people if we if we wanted to uh, and if we did want to organize by the date pay so we can see who actually takes the longest to pay and if we look down here we can see that it does take some people a long time yeah this is dummy data but you know it does take people over nearly three years to to pay uh, an invoice and, and and that's not what we want as a, as a business so we can use this to sort of uh, go ahead and chase those people uh, and do some additional analysis on that okay so just to cover what we've done we created a additional relationship between our date table and our data set we added a user relationship function inside of our uh, measure that we created uh, and once we create those and do those that will allow us to visualize uh, more than one measure using the same date filter um, and we can visualize that graphically or textually however you guys however you guys want okay so hope that's helped thanks for watching see you soon